Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natta with you as we kick off the weekend. Three-day racing weekend here at Gulfstream Park. Eight of them for you on tap on this Friday card, including race number three, which kicks off the Rainbow Six. $135,000 in your estimated jackpot. Pete Aiello is upstairs with your course and weather conditions. It's a beautiful day. Sunny skies. Temperatures in the low 80s. The main track fast. The Tapita track fast. The turf course firm. In race one, scratch the two, Tory Factor. Scratch the six, Dollar Liberty. Scratch the eight, Breath Deeply. Two, six, eight, withdraw. Race number one. Racing at Gulfstream. Not a good start for Joel's boy on the outside. The favorite, Makazan, was away quickly, taken on for the advantage by Hay River on his outside. Moving up toward the insiders, Bolkin on the go. Bolkin to land the early lead. Makazan now second from Hay River in early third. Tappet's direction comes out of their fourth. Followed fifth by Joel's boy, then Ginger Snap Jack. The early trailer is Solar Flash. They complete an opening quarter, Bulk in the leader. From between horses, Makazan is second. The quarter time was 24 and 4. Out in the middle, it's Hay River who races in third. From Tappet's direction, who's close enough to the action, he's racing in fourth. Gap of two more to Joel's boy, then Ginger Snapjack. He's encouraged to keep up second last, and the trailer is Solar Flash. They have half a mile to run in the race, and Bolkin has the lead three parts of a length. Makazan is second out the rail, tap its direction to joint third with a three-wide Hay River. The half was 48 seconds flat. These top four have opened up on the others, led inside by Ginger Snap Jack and Solar Flash. Dropping back Joel's boy, they round the four turn. Makazan has now made the lead. In tight is Bolkin as he retreats as Hay River is to the attack of the leader now second. At the rail, it's tap its direction in third. Ginger Snap Jack winding it up and then getting into fourth now. A quarter of a mile remains. We're down to four chances here. Makazan turns first. Wide Hay River. His back's against the wall now. Into the clear comes Tappet's direction. Ginger Snap Jack with too much to do. Nine to five on Makazan. He's an eighth of a mile out and four on top. Tappet's direction is second from Hay River in third, but Makazan will win the first easily. Makazan and Jockey Amisa El Jaramillo by five in the end. Tappet's direction second. Hay River third. Ginger Snap Jack fourth in 139 and two. They're off. Very poor beginning for Delightful Flame. The other one was away quickly. Rose Rita taken on by Mensa, who's front and center. Mensa flies off. The lead by two and a half. Unchained Elaine is second. Rose Rita now third. Tank is at the rail ahead of Delightful Flame, who had a terrible start, working three better than not that bad. And Unfiltered Honey is last. They round the far turn at the 5 16th. Patrick Husbands and Mensa on top by three. Unchained Elaine is second from Tank in third. Rose Rita is fourth. They whistled a quarter in 22 seconds flat. The leader is Mensa by two. Unchained Elaine tries to go get him from second. It's a gap of five. That's Tank third at the inside. Off the turn on the stretch drive. It's Mensa held together up top with a three length lead. Unchained Elaine chasing hard but not gaining much ground. Final 16th of a mile. Mensa is is at the head of the class. It's Mensa going gate to wire under Patrick Husbands to win by three. Unchained the lane was second, third was tank, fourth unfiltered honey in 51 and four.
after three quarters in 112 and one known agenda is now on to take over the lead. It's known agenda for St. Elias Stable. Florida Derby winner, known agenda. David's Rose was actually the last to start. Good start for a 13 -E from down toward the rail, and she'll lead by a length early on from Treves, who's in a good striking position in second. David's Rose beaten for speed after that step slow beginning. She's now third, up to fourth Miss MM. Then back to now showing the early trailer a long way, more strength. Half a mile from the wire, Flirtini leads by half a length. David's Rose is third, up to second goes Traves. Back to fourth, Miss MM. On from fifth, while angled three wide is now showing, and the trailer is more strength. She's a bit closer at the back. They run past the 5 16ths, and Jaramillo lets out a notch on Flirtini. She still has the lead. Traves is in clip pursuit while second. David's Rose third. Miss MM angled to the clear, floating out now showing. Underway is more strength. They're at the top of the stretch. Flirtini off the turn, tries to turn everybody away. From between horses, Miss MM closing ground outside. That's now showing inside Traves. They come past the 16th pole, and it's Flirtini who's still there. Miss MM is out of time. Flirtini gives Jaramillo a riding double. Flirtini by two in the end, gate to wire. Second, Miss MM. Third was Traves, and then it was now showing. 104-1. They're off. Sir Terry was off slow. On the far outside, Veterans Beach was quick off the blocks and has cleared a lot of inside traffic already from Restored Order, who's tightened up toward the inside. Grand Journey into the top flight. He's now third. Monza is together with Chapaloo in the pink. Chapaloo fighting the rating and angle to the far outside. Uncle Curly is next. Wide to the first turn is Doobie Doobie. Then it's a length and a half to grade it on a curve. Down inside, my man Flint. Second last after a bad break is Sir Tete, and the early trailer is Tiza Prince. Around the clubhouse turn they go. The opening quarter carved in 24-3. and three. Veterans Beach has it by a length over Grand Journey in second. Restored Order is at the rail in third. Chapaloo is there fourth from between horses. Mumza races from fifth. Outside sixth is Doobie Doobie. Uncle Curly is next at the rail. That's my man Flint. In between horses graded on a curve. Then Sir Tete and Tiza Prince is last. They went to half in 49 seconds flat as they get ready to swing to the far turn. It's been Veterans Beach from the word go. He leads by half a length. Here's the pro. Here's Grand Journey launching his bid now. Second, Chapaloo. Third up the outside. Down at the rail goes Restored Order. My man Flint tries to follow him. In between horses, Uncle Curly graded on a curves on the far outside. There's less than a quarter of a mile to come, and Grand Journey tries to overhaul Veterans Beach. Grand Journey sticks ahead in front, cutting the corner. Veterans Beach tries to fight right back. Three quarters, 112 flat. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go. Inside Veterans Beach. Outside it's Grand Journey. These two putting on a show. Veterans Beach is digging in. Grand Journey in neck behind. Veterans Beach. Grand Journey. Veterans Beach in front. Veterans Beach with a hard ride from Zayas turned away. Grand Journey who ran well in the feet. 135 flat.
Level beginning. Beach ready, ridden for some forward position. Boston Princess is taken in hand. Busy Moline is off the speed and not happy about it. Shuffled to last at the inside Worldly Beauty. Out in the middle goes Lenny Kate as they chase the speed of Beach ready. Beach ready and Edgar Zayas on top. The pace is not much early. From Lenny Kate in second, Boston Princess third at the rail. Followed fourth by Worldly Beauty and trying a new tactic today is Busy Moline. Last of the five, they complete that opening quarter behind Beach ready. Beach ready in 24 and 4 for a quarter speed, leads three parts of length. Over racing a touch in second is Lenny Kate and Boston Princess is third at the rail. Busy Moline has settled down in fourth, about three lengths off the favorite, and the trailer is Worldly Beauty. Down the back stretch they go. They make their way four and a half furlongs from the wire, and Beach ready has the lead. Lenny Kate definitely over racing now. Paco's trying to get her to settle down mid race. At the inside, it's Boston Princess in third. She's relaxed pretty well. Up to fourth goes Busy Moline, and the trailer is Worldly Beauty. They went to half and 49 and 2 as they leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. It's Beach Ready the target. Looking for room, Boston Princess is on the muscle. Outside second is Lenny Kate on from fourth, Busy Moline. Worldly Beauty is last. They're inside 5 16ths from home. The leader is Beach Ready by half a length. Lenny Kate is their second. Getting started, Busy Moline circling horses. Looking for room, Boston Princess. She's got some run. Now she's fed some racetrack to go after the leader. Three quarters, 114 and 1. They're at the top of the stretch. It's Beach ready in front. On the far outside, Busy Moline tightened up now. Boston Princess, Worldly Beauty rides the rail. They come past the 16th pole. On the outside, Busy Moline from between horses. Beach ready at the rail. It's Worldly Beauty. Busy Moline for a narrow lead. Busy Moline from off the speed to win. Busy Moline beats Worldly Beauty with Beach ready third. Boston Princess is fourth in 145 flat. Trumpets was off a step slow. Clay Soldier wins the break. Trumpets finds her feet and guards that inside spot, but she's rushing hard to challenge. Away in third is the Dove Rules outside Lucy's Cookie. And from between horses on the dot, they're five in line here. They pass the half mile point, and with inside position, it's Trumpets. In between horses, the Dove Rules tries to hold her spot. Now into the clear comes on the dot. At the rail, it's Clay Soldier, and now shuffled the last, the Dove Rules. They went 21 and 3 for the opening quarter. No rest for the weary here. The leader is Trumpets, but she's been hard used. From between horses, Clay Soldier on the outside, it's on the dot. Lucy's cookie has been very wide, and the Dove Rules is last to turn in. Off the turn and the stretch drive, Trumpets still has the lead and tries to sneak away. Down the center, it's on the dot. From between Clay Soldier, there's an eighth of a mile to go. Edgar Perez and Trumpets proving too much for these. They went 45 flat for a half mile, and it's one to two on Trumpets, who wins by three in the end. Clay Soldier was second on the dot, ran third, then Lucy's cookie and the Dove Rules. 57 and 2. Rapture Bay quick to begin. Prevent is alongside, and these two get acquainted. They race a length in front of Ninja Star, who comes away in third. Outside fourth for Criso Alago. Then it's Hunt Ball. Third last is Hunt Ball. Second last is Old Flag. The early trailer is Weightless. 
The early leader is Prevent. Prevent closed at 2-1 to one and is in front narrowly. Up on the outside, Rapture Bay is a pressing second. They're a length and a half in front of Ninja Star, who races in third. Two in front of Criso Alago. He's there fourth. A gap of three more to Hunt Ball, then Old Flag, and Waitlist is last. Opening quarter was 24 seconds flat, less than six furlongs from the wire. Prevent has the lead for Zayas, three parts of length. Rapture Bay second. Ninja Star is third and kept close to the action by Fernando Hara. A gap of three more to Criso Alago. Then it's Hunt Ball in the Godolphin blue colors, angled to the clear by Bravo. Third last. Second last is Old Flag, and the trailer is still waitlist. They went to half in 47 seconds flat as they take it to the far turn. Prevent has the lead. Rapture Bay has been pressing from the outset. Ninja Star needs a way through third. Underway from the back is Hunt Ball. Out three wide goes Old Flag. Criso Alago has dropped back, and the trailer is waitlist. They run to the top of the stretch, a quarter of a mile from home. Here's Ninja Star trying to split horses. Rapture Bay on the stand side. Prevent toward the rail. Then back to Hunt Ball. They're at the top of the stretch. Prevent, he's very game, and he pins his ears again, and he has the lead again. Three parts of length. Ninja Star runs at him from second. Hunt Ball levels off and closes ground third. Sixteenth to go. Here comes Hunt Ball. Ball. He's rolling late. Prevent digs in. Hunt balls on photo with Prevent. That's the win picture. Third is Ninja Star. Fourth is Waitlist. It was Prevent inside. It was Hunt Ball outside. A win picture. 134 flat. Level beginning. Across the course early, the favorite was quick into stride. Tiffany Gold, she's beginning for the advantage, moving out the rail. Spicy guacamole forwardly positioned and out in the center. Here's Charlotte Schroed moving closer. These three are quickest. They've gone two and a half clear of the gray baby blocks, who improves with an inside lane. Passing Emily's on fire with Gallup DRMA out three wide on the course, then Mobe Princess, and Fear and Friday is last. Around the far turn, they drilled a quarter, 21-1. and one. Spicy Guacamole has the lead. Three wide, Charlotte's Road, two path, Tiffany Gold. Length and a half to Baby Blocks, who's running home a touch with an inside lane. Two better than Gallup DRMA, they're at the top of the stretch. Spicy Guacamole turns for home on top, trying to turn away the challenge from Tiffany Gold and Charlotte's Road on the outside. They come past the eighth pole. From between horses, Tiffany Gold is roused forward by Paco. Fighting back is Spicy Guacamole from third, Charlotte's Road to the Wire, Tiffany Gold in front. She wins on debut, a length and a half better than Spicy Guacamole. Finishing third was Charlotte's Road, then Gallup de May in fourth in 57-2. And that's a wrap on the eight race Friday card. We're back with you on Saturday, the traditional 110 first post. Very strong 10 race card, several turf races on tap. And we hope to see you out here at beautiful Gulfstream Park.